All right, Jay Thakkar is here with us as well. Uh, Jay, uh, the Nifty breakout, what are you looking at? Hi, good morning. Yes, finally we did have a breakout in yesterday's trading session, uh, you know, a long consolidation of almost uh, one month or so uh, of these 200 points. And uh, uh, since we saw Nifty surpassing those levels of uh, 8690, uh, 8700, definitely it's a breakout, uh, good volumes, a good reversal in its momentum indicators. I should tell you one thing that the momentum indicators actually had, had gone into the sell mode, into a downtrend, mm. wherein the markets were consolidating. And now with this breakout, the indicators have given the first signal of a turnaround from a zero reference line in yesterday's trading session. Mm. That in fact confirms the breakout. I think this should go to the levels of 88.50, which is our short as well as the medium term target. Right. Post 88.50, I think we'll revise it whether it moves further or not. Mm -hmm. 88.50, in fact, that is what we were looking at, that if you add that move yesterday, about 100, 108 points uh, from the open to the high, uh, from the low to the high, then you end up at about 88.40 to 88.50 range. That is what the market should start testing. Uh, the important thing for our viewers to understand is that when Jay Tucker uh, or uh, Manas talk about technical levels, this is not some mumbo jumbo. It essentially is the statistical average of sentiment. Uh, candlestick patterns or technicals tells you the average of sentiment. It gives you an indicator whether the bulls are uh, ahead or whether bears are ahead. And that's what they essentially do. Pre-open is over and it's exactly where we indicated the opening will be at 87.54. That is what the indicative opening was looking like. So that's exactly where the pre-open has closed in terms of the bids. All right, time for us to get in our calls of the day. Let me start with Avinash. Avinash, your top picks. Uh, in fact, my two top picks are uh, Natco Pharma. We believe that, uh, you know, this is a very strong secular growth story and over the next 6 to 12 months, one could look at a target price of 780. In fact, a very strong numbers for the first quarter. Mm. And second uh, stock is Divan Housing. We believe that, you know, in the housing space, some action could be seen uh, tomorrow. Uh, Maharashtra announces its housing policy tomorrow, there could be some action. And again, from a uh, fundraising perspective, they raised about 10,000 crores. So the funding has been very strong and numbers mm -hmm. have been good. So here also one could look at a target price of 330 over the next 6 to 12 months. So both these stocks offer a good risk reward. Mm -hmm. You know, Divan Housing Finance, the big thing, of course, was that the cost of funds was uh, going down. Uh, it goes down sharply with the 10,000 odd crores that they've raised in one day. Uh, but Avinash, uh, if interest rates overall tend to fall, because we, today I was reading in one of the papers, I've forgotten, forgotten which one, probably in Business Standard, that uh, the ten -year, new 10-year bond is going to come with a 7% coupon rate. And uh, that indicates that whether the RBI does it or banks move, the uh, bond yields are going down. Is the uh, <clears throat> money that they've raised suddenly going to look more expensive than the market is going to give them? Uh, I don't think so because mm. uh, clearly, you know, the kind of appetite they have in tier 2, tier 3 markets. I mm. think uh, clearly, you know, we would uh, definitely see bond, uh, you know, uh, yield rates going down. But overall, I think if you see the kind of balance sheet they command, uh, mm. the kind of, uh, you know, asset quality they have, my sense is the loan book growth would be comfortably 20 to 25 percent. Mm. As long as the loan book grows at a healthy pace, you know, mm. uh, funds at even a slightly higher cost, mm. it may be possible that margins slightly may come down by a few basis points. But otherwise, the overall prospects are unlikely to be, you know, damaged because of this yeah. fundraising. All right, okay. Uh, Mr. Subramaniam, you have three calls for the day. Yeah, to begin with, uh, Bayon Amarraja. Now, uh, we have seen uh, Excite uh, very much in action the last uh, few days and Amarraja, of course, uh, not exactly been uh, performing, but uh, we have seen some good short covering rally yesterday. So, this could be bought for a possible target of 960. One could keep a stop loss of 903. Second one is m, &M Financials, which has uh, been on a very strong comeback trail. Mm -hmm. And uh, this could be bought for a possible target of 366, a stop loss of uh, 340. And the third one is uh, one on the oil and gas space, uh, Gale which uh, has see, seen some decent uh, correction and uh, this could be bought for a possible target of 398 and one could keep a stop loss of 376. All right. Uh, let's get uh, um, Manas Jaiswal's calls in. Manas. Uh, see, I am interested in PSU banking, especially mid-cap PSU banking because uh, um, uh, yesterday uh, we witnessed buying interest in last uh, hour of trade in uh, many PSU banking stocks and uh, especially Allahabad Bank where the stock was facing some resistance near to 82, 85. But yesterday it broke uh, this uh, resistance range with great volumes. So oscillators are showing positive crossover. So possibly stock can test 90 rupees now. So one can buy it with a stop loss of 81. Second call is a buy call on DLF, uh, where after 7-8 trading, uh, after correction, uh, 
DLF has taken support near to 50 day moving average yesterday. It bounced back sharply, has made a uh, bullish engulfing pattern. So uh, we missed a further up move in DLF and it can test its recent high of 168. So we can buy it with a stop loss of 159. And last one is India Cement, where stock is continuously making higher tops and higher bottoms. And yesterday it broke the resistance of 150 with great volumes. So I think this trend will continue in India Cement. It can test 160 now. So one can buy it with a stop loss of 148. Okay. Jay Thakkar, uh, what are your calls? Sure. I have a bit of, uh, you know, medium to long term uh, uh, calls uh, as of now, positional calls. The first would be on Lakshmi machine, mm -hmm. which has given a good breakout from a downward sloping channel. And I think the wave 5 on the ups uh, up upside has resumed, which will eventually take off its previous monthly swing highs. I think eventually this stock will head towards the all-time highs of around 45 100 and beyond that we have a target of around 45.50 and for that one can place a stop loss at 39.80. The second buy recommendation I have is on JBMA mm -hmm. which has a similar pattern as of uh, Lakshmi machine has given a good breakout with the reversal in its momentum indicators both on a daily as well as the weekly charts. The volumes have started to increase. In yesterday's trading session we did see an upper circuit in this stock mm -hmm. but I think uh, whenever it, uh, traders get a chance uh, I think one should get into this. The minimum target which we are looking out from these levels is like 310 so it's almost like 50 percent returns is what we are looking out uh, maybe in three to four months and on the lower side 187 is now a crucial support so that will be the stop loss the final call which i have a buy recommendation is on dishman pharma this also has a similar structure as of as that of you know uh, gbma or Lakshmi machine and i think this stock is absolutely performing good high tops and high bottom with a good reverse reversal in its indicators as well the stock is trading well above short term moving averages uh, in this too, we are expecting a target beyond its previous uh, monthly swing highs and the target comes to around 220 on the upside. The stop loss can be placed at 163. All right. Uh, let me go to Pankaj. Pankaj, two uh, important stocks that are in the news, uh, Crompton and Kotak Bank. Just take us through them. Right on. And so Crompton declared numbers, but they had the con call post market hours. Some key takeaways from the con call. First, uh, they are rationalizing their UK business. Uh, they have signed a MOU to say uh, to sell that. There were some doubts whether it will go through or not, but management in the con call sa said that sale process of the international business continue to remain on track. October 31st is the last date before which they have to uh, conclude that uh, MOU. So they, they are quite confident that it would happen much before that. Sale of overseas business will remove significant costs which are currently overlapping. The second takeaway was about the guidance. So at the, at, after Q4 numbers, when they gave out their guidance, uh, the street was quite excited about that number. But after the Q1 numbers, management says that meeting FI17 guidance looks to be challenging. Why it is challenging is because of the new accounting standards as well as the re, uh, rationalization, the restructuring that they are doing may lead to certain one-time cost. Their guidance has been about 6,500 for their sales numbers, 450 for uh, their EBITDA and 325 for their PAT. So that, according to them, is challenging. The next one is a technical call. Uh, it's about uh, buying into Kotak. So a Canada pension fund, which already owns about 4.8% stake, single largest FPI holder into Kotak, has overnight got an RBI nod to hike its stake beyond 5%. But at the same time, they'll have to keep it less than 10%. So the street might be excited that there could be FII buying into Kotak as uh, well. Meanwhile, as we were talking about these two names, markets have opened. ICICI Bank up 0.6% on the first go. ITC up about half a percent. Hero Motor Corp up about a uh, quarter of a percent. Hindalco 162 down about 50 pesa. BHEL absolutely flat. Bank of Baroda quarter of a percent higher. Axis Bank up uh, close to about 593. ONGC is down about a percent. Ambuja Cement up close to half a percent. Tata Steel about 50 pesa higher. NTPC clearly no change 161, 162. Idea Cellular 94.95 on the first go. Infosys 6 rupees declined 1034. There is a MSCI selling in Infosys today uh, of about 13 million. So maybe that's the reason why it's uh, down. Kotak Bank, we just spoke about this name before the opening. It's up about 1.7 odd percent. I think it's the top gainer. It's not a very frequently traded counter, but today it's uh, seeing volumes of 50,000 plus already. Crompton and Greaves saw volumes yesterday. Numbers came out during the 230 factor. Uh, further details coming in. It's up about a percent or so, 82, 83 as far as Crompton Greaves is concerned. HT Media was an interesting one. So it went up 15% yesterday. There was a block deal. I looked at the block deal data. There was no significant buyer, but it's still up 6% today. So two days in a row after the block deal, it has uh, seen uh, very, very good gains. HCC is up 6%. Volumes of almost close to 1 lakh. So uh, not, not something that I have identified in terms of news, 
but it's generally a slightly volatile counter when it sees volumes. So about five and a half, six odd percent. Castec Tech, of course, it's a small company, but it's up five percent, about eleven rupees. It's uh, the promoter. It's it's one of the group companies of uh, Amtech promoters. Prestige Estate is up close to about two odd percent. 179, 180, but volumes are absolutely low, low on prestige, just about three, three, four thousand shares. Just looking at the large cap once again, so Dr. Reddy's 22 rupees higher, ACC is doing well, Bajaj Auto continues to do well, Aisha Motor is down about 72 odd uh, uh, rupees or so. Overall, Nifty is flat with a positive bias. All right, let's look at the uh, counters which are moving with the highest turnover. So we uh, stack up the top 50 counters with the highest turnover and then we look at the ones which have the maximum gains on it and the biggest one as Pankaj mentioned is HCC. We've not got any uh, announcements uh, to the exchanges yet but there's surely something happening there. Perhaps uh, there is a deal that is being worked out, maybe the arbitrage on the uh, outstanding low, outstanding that the government is supposed to give them which could wipe out a large part of the debt. Maybe that is some news that's come in. 6% up on very, very high volume, 6.3%. We don't know what the reason is. Ultratech Cement, that one is up 3% at this moment. And uh, it's uh, about uh, uh, very heavy volumes in Ultratech. Allahabad Bank, a lot of banks are doing well. Allahabad Bank, 2.5% up. It's on the buy list of uh, you know, one of the calls that was given out today. Crompton Greaves, after the con call, uh, investors seem to be convinced and 2.2% up. IDBI, uh, it has uh, issued the first tranche of its 1500 uh, crore, uh, uh, the Basel 3 bonds that it's issued. So the first tranche has gone out, IDBI 1.8% up, JP Associates is up 1.8%. Kotak Mahindra Bank, the Canadian pension plan, they, as uh, Pankaj mentioned, just before markets opened, they have a 5 to 10% chance, uh, RBI has allowed them to buy 5 to 10%, so that's up 1.6%. DLF, 1.5% up, as I mentioned, that NBFCs and banks doing well today, Bajaj Finance up. Aditya Birla, Nuvo up 1.4%, Sipla up 1.4%, Jain Irrigation up 1.4%, Asian Paints up 1.3%. So all the heavy names are actually being bought into right now. HCL Tech up 1.3%. I just want to take a look at the biggest losers. Delta Corp is down 2.3% right now. And uh, there's a bit of a news movement there that we have for Delta Corp. And uh, I'll just pull that up for you in a second. Yeah, uh, they're going to be acquiring a uh, uh, holding company called Gauss Network and uh, they're going to be paying about, uh, Gauss Network has about 47 crore um, per turnover and uh, so uh, perhaps uh, that Gauss acquisition is going to be bought at about 47 crore and maybe the markets don't like that. Markets usually do not like any new acquisition on the day any acquisition is announced. The markets usually punish a company. So Delta Corp is down, the biggest loser right now. Uh, Bharat Financial Inclusion is showing the opposite trend, down right now, BPCL down 0.6%, TCS and Infosys down, Infosys actually was going to take a bit of a, <clears throat> uh, some money was going to flow out because of that MSCI rebalance. So that's what the picture is like. Let's pull up the Nifty for you, what has happened there? Uh, <clears throat> the Nifty currently is at 87.67, up uh, right now by about uh, approximately, all right, it's 86.69. So more buying coming in. It opened around that 8700 level and then went up sharply. And there you see 87.70, more buying coming in on the Nifty. Let's look at what is happening in the broader markets. Remember yesterday, the broader markets are actually, some of them are actually at an all-time high. The Nifty Next 50, for instance, is up half a percent. The BSC mid-cap index up 0.4 percent and the small cap index up about 0.4% as well. And let's pull up the bank Nifty, and there you will see again, uh, hit in all time highs, so half a percent up on the Nifty bank, and the Nifty Auto was also at an all time high. There you see, extending the gains. Maybe a bit of a sell off after hitting the 98, 94 level, uh, and then extending the gains. All right, uh, uh, let me start again with this time with Jay. Uh, Jay, the Nifty opening, is it a confirmation of the trend? Absolutely, you know, uh, after a huge run up and when we saw the, you know, you know US markets not performing that, that well in the, on the positive trade in yesterday's trading session, 
uh, despite of that, you know, we didn't see uh, any profit booking in today's trading session. In fact, uh, you know, we are seeing uh, we are seeing more buying coming out. Mm. That clearly shows that the breakout has, uh, you know, uh, is confirmed and uh, you know is likely to test the previous swing highs. Basically, you know, there is no such resistance between uh, you know these current levels and 8850. No mm. major resistance for right. more 75 points. Mm. Hence, we are seeing that kind of an upward momentum. Mm. Uh, Mr. Subramaniam, are there still any shorts in the system? Can, can there be further uh, short covering? Well, uh, you know, the three counters which I indicated, uh, we all, uh, all saw short, short covering yesterday. And mm. I think one space where mm. we could still have some shorts there, where I think uh, one could uh, possibly expect, uh, I think probably the first one is IT pack, where we have seen some pretty aggressive shorts. Mm. And they have been down and out the last, uh, um, uh, I mean, the last series also with the uh, uh, roles were uh, pretty uh, uh, slim, and here this this, this uh, September series has seen some shots. So that could that is one space, and maybe a few odd uh, pharma counters uh, like uh, Vokata. So where we have mm. seen some um, shots getting built up. So there are a few pockets where concerns are there, but I think uh, uh, one positive trigger is enough for them to uh, again see some sort of mm. short covering coming about. Mm. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us and giving your calls on this day when uh, we see the markets uh, going up further. That's what we expected. Now the Nifty is up about one third of a percent. Thanks a lot for joining us.